Here are some news clips regarding the drought conditions in Waikato and Northland of the North Island of New Zealand. In the first one, which aired on March the 8th during the 6 o'clock news, aerosol material was evident in at least three of the film clips. Farmers in the Upper North Island are warning conditions this summer have been drier than they were during last year's record drought. They're concerned if rain doesn't come soon, they'll be in serious trouble come next season. Matty McLean explains. On Neil Badup's Waikato dairy farm, with the sun beating down on him, he's digging into his supplementary feed. This sun has been harsh and there's no grass for his herd. It's impacting dramatically on what we can feed the cows. The cows at the moment are basically getting fed 90% of their diet as supplement. These guys have been here before. Last year they battled through the worst drought in 70 years. Yeah, I think they're even drier than last year. This next month is actually the most crucial. If farmers don't see significant rainfall in the month of March, it has a massive impact on next season in terms of calving and milk production. Farmers around here are understandably concerned. Many are already looking to begin drying off their herd two months before they normally would. Oh, it means a, a big drop in production and, and a drop in dollars. Um, so that's, you know, that, that's really what the effect of it is. We travel to the yard sales and fielding where stock agents have noticed an influx in activity. People have been de-stocking a little bit in the last week or 10 days to, to get through uh, the rest of the summer and, and coming into the winter. For farmers like Neil Bader, this isn't the season they were hoping for. It's concerning that it's, um, this was an opportunity with a very good payout to actually consolidate our positions, you know, maybe look after some debt and do those sort of things. Some of those um, decisions are being taken away from us. And with little rain on the horizon, this dry headache could spill over into next season. Matt McLean, One News. Waikato farmers are calling for the government to declare a state of drought in what they say are conditions far worse than last year. The situation is just as dire in Northland, but forecasters say there could be some respite at the end of the week. Adrian Taylor has more. As you drive through Mandy McLeod's Morrinsville farm, it's obvious from the colour of the landscape things aren't as they should be. Just look out the window there, you can see... The, the paddock looks rough because the cows have actually started to pull the plants completely out of the ground. And we've had three years of that. She says her farm hasn't received a significant rain for months and the conditions are far worse than during the nationwide drought last summer. We've been here for 35 years and this is the worst we've ever seen it. McLeod has only just repaid a $100,000 loan taken in last year's drought and is now facing the emotional and financial strain all over again. Oh, look, keep you're looking at $300,000 plus. And it's not just the Waikato region suffering. Federated farmers in Northland told 3 News they would need about 180 millimetres of rain in multiple bursts and over several days to get their pastures back to where they would like them to be. The Ministry for Primary Industry says it's monitoring the situation daily in both regions, but hasn't yet received a formal appeal for help from either. And farmers in both regions may just have their wish of rain fulfilled this weekend. It's all coming courtesy of tropical moisture, tropical system working its way down. Good chance for some rain and probably some widespread rain in many places. Until the rain comes, McLeod says declaring a state of drought would provide some relief to farmers, even if it's only the comfort of knowing they're not battling the elements alone. Adrian Taylor, 3 News. Hammond, uh, with rain over the past few days, parts of the North Island haven't had anywhere near enough farmers in several North Island regions are struggling to feed stock as dry conditions take hold for more. We're joined by Federated Farmers Auckland Provincial President Wendy Clark. Wendy, good morning. Last year, a 1 in 70 year uh, drought scenario. How are we shaping up in comparison to last year, this year? Well, for the areas that are badly affected, um, it's shaping up to be the same as last year, but for most of the country, it's okay. I understand as, as far as the, the month-long Met Service forecast goes, though, things aren't looking terribly bright. No, they're not. There's no significant um, rain uh, predicted, so uh, that's going to compromise.
increasing water growth and affect uh, winter supplies? I presume, you know, farmers always have, have, have a bit of warning as to what's going to happen, but you can only be so prepared. I imagine you can only stockpile so much food. Yes, that's right, Greg. Um, so farmers will be coping by reducing their uh, demand. They will have sent off surplus um, stock already. Uh, they will have stopped milking the more vulnerable members of their dairy herds, uh, like the lighter ones and the young ones, and now they will be considering uh, whether they should stop milking uh, altogether. Okay, just, just to give it in, in plain terms, from today, how far down the line do you go, we're really in trouble here? Is it, is it two weeks away, ten days, three weeks? How far until it really does uh, become panic stations? Well, it just depends what your carving date is if you're a dairy farmer. Um, um, it's, um, it's, it's now serious. And so a lot of us will be considering um, drying off the herds early, um, which is disappointing, but that's what's necessary to conserve our feed supply and, um, and to ensure that um, we are not compromising next season's production. There becomes a point, of course, where financial assistance uh, is available to farmers. That's a wee way off, but we understand that that can be. There's a bit of a bit of wriggle room in that as far as farmers getting getting a helping hand. If, um, if a farmer is in dire straits and um, has no assets left um, and c cannot put food on the table, then there is a rural assistance package um, available. And last year, um, in that big drought, 146 farmers. Um, access that assistance. In terms of what it may or may not mean for the consumers uh, down the line, realistically, is it, is it going to affect prices for people uh, buying dairy, buying cheese, buying milk and so on? No, I don't think it is, Greg. Um, the prices, domestic prices are affected by the global prices, so it's um, not going to affect them, I don't think. Fingers crossed for some rain. It's Wendy Clark, all Confederated Farmers President. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Greg. We're looking at uh, the, a, a drought in the northern Waikato, also in Northland. To talk more about this, Fed Farms Waikato President James Houghton. Uh, James, good morning. Thanks for your time this morning. Good morning. How much of a concern is this for you guys, for your farmers in the Waikato at the moment? It's a really uh, real big concern. Uh, basically, rolling off last year, we had a, had a one. Uh, record drought last year, and a lot of farmers have actually experienced even less rain than what we had last year. And, I, and the fact that there's less rain would be further uh, exacerbated by the fact that last year was so dry, I, I presume. Yeah, we didn't really get the uh, follow-up rainfall post that drought to really uh, replenish the uh, natural aquifers under the ground. So the ground started off way dry back in December. We were sort of like 20 mils, 30 mils in deficit dry prior to the um, onset of the dry period. And look, the area I've heard has been affected is the northeast Waikato, is that correct? And that's probably mainly dairying or exclusively dairying land, is it? It's, it's effectively the whole Waikato is, is affected, really. It's, uh, yeah, there's not one part of the Waikato that's not affected, put it that way. Any forecast for rain on the horizon? From what I'm seeing, there is, there is no forecast, no. Okay. Rain. And what I mean is what they have forecasted, we haven't got anyway, so that a little bit frustrating. So how much rain have you had? The, well, uh, the summer's over, so how much rain did they have in the summer? For so far this year, some people have had only 10 mils of rain. Gee, okay. And look, I'm used to covering droughts because we had the one last year. The last year's drought, farmers were moving stock away. They were doing that at a rate of knots. Is that happening yet in the northeast white cut of farmers moving stock elsewhere? Farmers, yeah, this year it's, it's a totally different picture where we last year we had the whole North Island of drought. This year we're in quite a different situation. The barn planting has had good rain and it's good grass over the year. Um, down, down country way, one or two, and um, the central north island. Some of those places have had some rain, so there's options. There's options of bringing baleage and feed in at the moment because there's feed around. So, yeah, farmers are a reasonably comfortable place. Okay. And I, and I think Northland's also affected. What's your counterpart in the north told you? Yeah, basically, uh, it just seems to be the west side of the uh, of the island, really. Uh, there's been a few fronts that have come down the eastern side and flipped right into that part of the country, but, yeah, it's just one of those things that we'll have to uh, hopefully endure, and um, hopefully the rain will come shortly, and we'll 
um, give them relief. Okay, what's the forecast looking for? Have you seen any that looks promising? Well, it's just interesting. Some forecasts have said showers. Forecasts have said they but now those quickly disappearing. And you guys have given up on Ken Ringer's long-range forecasts, haven't you? Or you guys still read that book? 